model chemoreceptors control breathing. Hi, today I would like to explain to you how our body's breathing system works. My name is Zach Heisten. Thanks to the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, the muscles expand causing the lungs to open and forces air to come in through the nasal and oral cavities. Then the air once inside goes down through the trachea into the bronchi, then into the alveoli. The alveoli then take the oxygen from the fresh air and circulate it down to the capillaries, which then diffuse it into carbon dioxide. The red blood cells then carry the oxygen through the body in a cycle, while on the other hand, the carbon dioxide is expelled. Chemoreceptors are receptors that monitor pH, CO2, and O2 levels in the arterial blood. Chemoreceptors respond to only water-soluble and lipid-soluble substance. In other words, interstitial fluid, plasma, or cerebral spinal fluid. There are two chemoreceptor neurons. The first being the vagus nerve, which is in the carotid bodies, and the second being the colossal pharyngeal nerve, which is in the aortic bodies. The afferent fibers leaving the carotid or aortic bodies reach respiratory centers by traveling within cranial nerves, the glossopharyngeal and the vagus. The glossopharyngeal nerve will travel to the medulla oblongata where it then enter the VRG and DRG ventral respiratory group and dorsal respiratory group. The VRG or ventral respiratory group is inspiratory and expiratory centers, but it only is with forced breathing. RG, or dorsal respiratory group, is an inspiratory center that also functions in quiet and forced breathing. Pons in the brain determines both pace and how deep someone breathes. So like running or jogging versus walking, it would know the difference. The pneumotaxic center in the pons does two things. First, it inhibits the apneustic center. Secondly, it promotes passive or active exhalation. Below the pneumotaxic center, we have the apneustic center, which provides continuous stimulation to its DRG center. Hyperventilation, abnormally low PCO2, which is hypocapnia. It stimulates the chemoreceptors versus hypoventilation, which is abnormally low respiration rate, it goes down, and it increases the arterial PCO2, hypercapnia.